Welcome to Dorsta. I'm Kino Gri. Any longtime viewer of the channel will know me as a super dimensional time traveling VR exploring magical girl. But did you know that I also have access to meat space? I'm taking my meat body on a road trip in the United States of America. Let's see how it goes. Hello everyone. Since we're exploring meat space, we'll need a spaceship. So, here we are. What do you think of it? I guess it's not as fast as other ships, and it doesn't make Atmo anymore, and the life support leaves something to be desired, but it has new landing gear, which is going to be really important because we're not leaving the ground. I'm starting my journey here in my homeland of Bavaria. Wait, no, that's not quite right. This is Leavenworth, Leavenworth, uh, Washington State. This village did up its entire main district like a Bavarian village for some reason. I guess they thought it would attract people. And it is quite charming and colorful and nice. But for my purposes, it's eerie. It reminds me of this old film where some, during the war, some German operatives parachuted into England and took over a village. And when the main character finds it, just something seems wrong. And that's how it is for me. The streets, maybe they're too wide. The signs have too much English. Nobody's speaking the right language in the background. So this is only where my journey begins. From here, we move forward. Downtown Walla Walla smells really good. Stupid traffic, meaning I can't stay. There's a pizzeria. There's a Greek eatery. There's all sorts of things behind me. And then this hot dog stand is closed. But look, rising sun dog. Cupy mayo, tonkatsu. Bonito Flake, which must mean Katsuobushi, and Hurikake. In the middle of an American town? That's so weird. I did not notice this before. That uh, bus station is Market Station. I thought that was the parking lot for the station, and it is, but it's also the market. I guess uh, every once in a while they have a public market here. Walla Walla is surrounded by farms, and it's famous for its sweet onions. Lesma once told me that it's also famous for cherries. All of the bad traffic and contra flow was next to a waste treatment plant and that's where I spent a lot of time parked on the freeway. I just noticed that my car still smells like poo. I have to drive the windows down. I am in Fruitland, uh, which is near Boise, Idaho. I've driven another 205 miles and I stopped to get food. But I also really, really need to tinkle. I have a small problem. In the States, this is what passes for a medium drink. I'm not going to finish this. I'm not even gonna come half to finishing that. I'll have to be patient. I'm done driving for the day. I'm someplace by Castle Rock, which is uh, on Highway 20 in the middle of Idaho. There's nothing out here. I can't see any lights. Every once in a while a car comes by, so I think this is a good place to take a nap. I had a really big drive today. I've gone over 500 or 600 miles since Leavenworth. One thing I noticed about the countryside is that every place has a smell. Well, at least in, at least in the country, not in the city. When I was going up the hill to, or the mountains as they are, to Leavenworth, it smelled like red pine and fresh water. After Leavenworth, it smelled like creosote. Then it smelled like manure, except like really ripe, lively manure, not like cow poo. After that, I had some other interesting smells. Eastern Oregon smelled like the, the warm wood of a sauna. Then a little bit later, it smelled like tobacco, vanilla. I've also smelled sage and some really strong pine scents. But here, it smells a lot like chocolate. So, I think that's a good thing to have a sweet dream to. Play night. As a resort town, Leavenworth had a charming feel to it. But um, even though it looks like a German town, it doesn't feel like a German town to me. There was such something wrong, like an old movie where the German soldiers came to England and made an English village, but it just didn't feel right to the protagonist. As I kept traveling, I was actually surprised 
how consistently I found new international things. We saw the Japanese style hot dog, but、um, I, I still saw ramen shops and sushi shops everywhere I went. Even when I stopped for lunch that day, I had sushi in the middle of the United States. So it was unexpected. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on day two. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give us a comment and subscribe our channel. See you in next video.